How you doing today? You know those doomsday movies when something bad happens and everyone's running around with their hands up and they're like, they're all screaming, we're all going to die. Can I share something with you? We all are going to die. Physically. But you do not have to be dead spiritually. You do not have to be afraid anymore. The Bible, the book of Luke 12, 22, 34 says, Then Jesus said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your body, what you will wear. Life is more than food, and the body more than clothes. Consider the ravens. They do not sow nor reap. They have no storeroom or barn, yet God feeds them. And how much more valuable are you than birds? Who of you by worrying can add a single hour to his life? Since you can, since you cannot do this little, little thing, why do you worry about the rest? Consider how the lilies grow. They do not labor or spin, yet I tell you, not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field which is here today, and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, how much more will he clothe you? O oh, you ye of little faith, and do not set your heart on what you eat, will eat or drink. Do not worry about it, for the pagan world runs after all such things, and your father knows that you need them. But seek his kingdom, and these things will be given to you as well. Do not be afraid little flock, for your father has been pleased to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions and give to the poor. Provide purses for yourselves that will not wear out, a treasure in heaven that will not be exhausted, where no thief comes near and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. That was straight from the Spirit. I was going to put Luke 8.22-25, or Mark 4:35 through 41 or Matthew 8:23 to 27 sorry you actually have to use your own bible this time check it it don't bite <laughs> if you read it notice how Jesus was sleeping in the middle of the storm while everyone else was panicking and he told them Luke 8:25 where is your faith? What if you were in Abraham's place and God told you to sacrifice your child? Or Job, he lost his whole family and still kept his faith. Or Daniel, could you imagine being thrown into a den of lions? How about little David, who took out a giant? But most of all, but most of all, my favorite example is Peter walking on water until he realizes his fear and sinks. Jesus said, with faith, faith as small as a mustard seed, we can move a mountain. That's just a little faith. Could you imagine what we could do with a lot of faith? 1 John 4.18, there is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear. Because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. Romans 8.15 For you do not receive a spirit that makes you a slave again to fear, but you received a spirit of sonship, and by him we cry, Abba, Father. And last but not least, Proverbs 15.33 The fear of the Lord is instruction in his wisdom, and humility comes before honor. A lot of these doomsday things will happen. But if you repent and ask forgiveness in Jesus' name, you will be forgiven and walk into heaven with us. And while everyone else around is running around with their hands up, screaming, running around like chickens with their heads cut off, you'll be sleeping just like Jesus was. Amen. And I got to say to my Christian brothers out there, we should never lose focus on the savable because of our fear of the unsavable.
Let's get the word out. Continue sharing the good news. In Jesus' name, amen.